name is Kara McNeilis, and I am a neonatologist at Cincinnati Children's. And my name is Jackie Wessel, and I am a dietitian at Cincinnati Children's. We are here today to talk about short gut syndrome in the newborn intensive care unit. Short gut syndrome is a problem with not having enough bowel, and this can be present from birth or develop after an infant needs surgery. Some of the problems that may be present at birth that can lead to short gut syndrome are volvulus or intestinal atresia. Short gut syndrome can develop after a baby is born, like when an infant needs surgery for necrotizing enterocolitis. Infants with short gut syndrome need very careful management of their nutrition. Because they do not have a normal length of bowel, they need IV nutrition called parenteral nutrition or TPN. Parenteral nutrition is delivered via an IV. So infants will have a central line which is a deep IV that is stable and in place for a long time. When it is safe, we provide a small volume of milk to infants with short gut syndrome. This helps stimulate the bowel to remodel and absorb better. It is important to go very slowly on milk feedings to protect the remaining bowel. Breast milk is very important for protecting an infant's bowel. Mother's own breast milk is the best milk choice in almost all circumstances. We want to provide moms with all of the support they need to provide breast milk and continue pumping. When we do not have enough of mom's own breast milk, we carefully pick a different milk. Sometimes we are able to use breast milk from a donor milk bank or use an elemental formula, which means it is easy for bowel to absorb. Infants with short gut syndrome are usually in the newborn intensive care unit for many months. This may be determined by other medical issues such as breathing problems, especially if the infant was born premature. Infants with short gut syndrome usually need surgical procedures to help deliver nutrition. This includes placing a gastrostomy tube or G-tube. It is a special feeding tube that is inserted into the abdomen to give feeds right to the stomach. When a baby with short gut syndrome is stable and is only working on feeding and growing, the baby can transfer out of the NICU to the GI floor to continue care. Thank you for watching. If you would like more information, please contact us.